one thing that people struggle with a lot is having good positioning. They try to be everything to everyone. And so try to get them to really focus in on who's an ideal client. They can go through this little wizard. They can do it themselves. They can do it with someone. They can do it with a group of people. I find it's really helpful sometimes if you're so close to it, it's hard to really see what what's right in front of your nose. But let's just say that I'm a business consultant who works on succession planning. And so my ideal client you might think is a business, but really it's a family owned, uh, family owned business. Or maybe it's a retiring, oops, retiring uh, family business owner. And what do they have? They want to pass the business to a child, but they have more than one child. And they want to keep the business growing. And their pain is succession planning, right? That's what they're struggling with. And the cost of pain is loss of business and family harmony. And the benefit is uh, building a legacy, both with their family and their business. And traditional approach is, let's say, legal succession planning with lawyers. And the drawback is uh, doesn't deal with emotional icebergs below the surface. And our unique approach is, let's say, family-centered succession planning. And then it's asking for a superhero name. So instead of saying I'm a business consultant or I'm a succession planner, we want to say I'm the someone. So if I don't know what to do, I can ask it to suggest something. And let's just say that I decide I'm the uh, succession iceberg navigator. And then every superhero needs an origin story, right? Uh, not just a resume. Most people do a bad job because they don't think of themselves as superheroes, so they don't think they need an origin story. So everything is blah and boring, and we can have it suggest something for us based on some of the other things we put in here. And let's just say that I've, I've got this, i am just pasted in from somewhere else. And now I've got a little elevator pitch, a homepage idea, uh, about me idea, lead magnet, call scripts, and I can have various ideas with that. LinkedIn profile, LinkedIn posts, LinkedIn connection requests, content calendar, and so on. And if I look at this and I say, gosh, um, you know, maybe I want this to be owners. I can just update it just by clicking on it. Now, let's say we want to get into uh, creating a lead magnet. Actually, before I do that, let me just show you. We've got this notion of a shareable card. So I might not be able to update my website, anything like that really quickly, but I can make this little card shareable and then I can email it to somebody or embed it somewhere or share it on LinkedIn and get feedback and just make sure that I'm doing it the right way. Now, if I want to go generate a lead magnet, I can just hit this generate lead magnet button and you can see we've got, you know, some of the grammar isn't quite right. And it's got you know, a little blurbage here that I might want to massage a little bit. But then the idea is let's give some helpful content for people so that even if they never do business with us, just by requesting this lead magnet, their lives are going to be better. And we know that because we know what they're going through because we have defined our target market really well. And then we're going to say, you know, here's a set of things that you can do. And some of them might be easier than others, and you might be able to go do some of them, maybe some of them you've already done. And then eventually they're going to get harder and harder and more and more valuable. And at some point you might say, gosh, it would be really nice to have an expert guide me through this. And that's where hopefully they want to call you.
and I'm just, just copying and pasting some content here, but you get the idea. Usually the reason people struggle with this is because they don't know what the positioning is, what the ideal client is, and what the angle is. And so it's really hard to have a conversation and make a, a web page have a conversation for you or lead magnet have a conversation for you. But if we do that work up front, then it's pretty easy and we can just kind of write out, imagine that you met somebody, you get introduced to someone at the bar, they're your ideal prospect. What kind of stuff do they ask you about? What do you help them with? Have that conversation right there in the lead magnet. And then we can make this two directional. We've got these form fields that we can use here. So it can say, you know, what's our biggest challenge? When would you like to do this by? We can embed video in here. If we've got some of that really nice way to take this up a notch and, and be more personable. And let's just make this formatted a little bit and maybe add a little title. Jane Doe, the succession iceberg navigator. There we go. And boom, obviously we can polish this and play with it, but unlike a PDF, this is gonna look good on any device. They're gonna be able to interact with it on any device. And we're gonna know every time they're reading it. So when we actually uh, get a notification that they're reading it, it gives us a chance to call and have a conversation. And then it sets us up. I'm just gonna change the title here. In, oh, I said in business, didn't I? And then I can put schedule consult or something like that. And boom, I've got a lead magnet. Now I want to be able to put this on my website. Um, so actually it's generated a, a lead magnet for me and I can go edit this. So help me navigate succession. I can change the colors and the sizes and all that. I can also, because we're not going to show a form on the web page, we're going to show this button. So we know if our site or our content or blog post is targeted at these people, it's a good chance they're going to want to click this button. We can also make it pop up a form after they've been on the page a certain amount of time, maybe after they scroll all the way down or an exit intent. And then we can control where the little pop up is going to appear we can set what we want the form to actually ask for, what information we're going to ask for, we're going to ask for email, and then everything else is optional, unavailable, or required. I always tell people, ask for very little email and an optional phone number, because if they're a good lead, you're probably going to be able to find them on LinkedIn from those things. You can change the form styles, and then the response is going to be to send them to either a thank you page or maybe straight to the content. So I can put my, my signature in here and so on. And then all I have to do is copy and paste this information onto my website where I want this button to appear. And it's going to enable this lead magnet for me.